He was very calm. Mm. He was very articulate. He was making sure because he had an accent yeah. and he was making very sure that we could hear exactly what he was saying. There was no screaming, no shouting, just a stunned shock. <laughs> Immediately after he'd made his big speech, he told me to call triple zero. And so I said to triple O something along the lines of, are you listening? Are you paying attention? I've got something very particular to tell you. We're at a Lint cafe and I told him the address. This is what's happening. A man is holding us hostage. By then what started was that the triple O person is in my ear. They're asking me, you know, how many people, how many bombs, how many, you know, all this kind of thing. And he, at the other hand, is instructing me what to say to them. So it's like, like this. Yeah. Breaking news for us right here in, uh, in the middle of uh, the CBD in Sydney. Heavily armed police uh, presently converging on Martin Place. Hostages have been taken. Our seven had he told you that he had a bomb? Oh, yes. Did you but, believe that? Well, you don't doubt when someone's got a gun. <laughs> But what struck me was that he said he had two bombs in his backpack. And in that moment, I thought, why would you have two bombs? And he also told us that there were bombs all around the city. So, you know, that I thought could be quite real. But the when he said two bombs, I actually thought, that's strange. Things are now getting tense inside the cafe. Police are aware that Man Monis is armed, although at this stage, they don't know who he is. They think he has a bomb. And as he calls it, his brothers are at other locations in Sydney and they'll detonate their bombs if they're approached or if police come close to the cafe. Outside the cafe, police are scrambling and are rushing to set up a command post close to the cafe. What happened next? He told us to put our ID and our phones on the table, which of course everyone did, mm -hmm. or I thought everyone did. Um, that's a thing. A few people apparently had two phones. And of course, young Fiona Ma, who was a young 19 year old girl at the time who worked in the Lint, I think it may have been perhaps her second shift. She kept her phone in her pocket. Wow. Wow is right. That young woman, quite astounding for her to think to have the the savvy to think that, that she'd just keep her phone in her apron pocket. Um, thank goodness for that. So it's 10 a.m. Did you feel in danger? Absolutely. You know, because um, what happens when terrorists take hostages? Well, they kill them. <laughs> so, you know, I thought that was definitely going to be our fate that day. Uh, it never occurred to me that we would be there for hours hours. You know, I thought that we would be dead. You can listen to this podcast episode in full on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon to keep up to date with everything from Podshape.